Okay, we're drilling out the bolt hole here that was all welded up. So I already ran a half inch drill bit through the hole. So now we're doing the uh, 30 second thousands. 30 second over, which is 32 thou over the half inch. The hole is uh, 340. I mean, excuse me, it's 540, and this is 532 and a half, so it's close. So we'll go ahead and run this through, finish up the hole cutting. Run it through like this. that done. Pull the setup out right here. Okay, so now you can see the hole right now we got in there now. So I'm going to do this a light deburring on this here. Back that up a little bit. Okay, we can see what I'm doing a little bit. So right now we got a little bit of a burr right here. So we're going to cut that off. So we got our deburring tool right here. So we'll just knock that off a little bit. There you go. Fix the burr right off. Now we're worried about that little pinhole right there. I'm going to take the stock head gasket here and lay it up on here. You can see how the pinhole, which is right here on this edge, when you put the gasket where it belongs, right there, it's right up here within the, it's inside the combustion chamber by about 50 thou or so. So it's not going to affect our head gasket seal at all. So you don't have to worry about it then. So now you can see we got a nice clean hole right here. So we can run the stock head bolt in there with no problem. So now all you're going to do is just want to lightly clean the surface up here. We have a little bit of you know cutting surface mark in here, which I like to run you know pretty smooth finishes on my stuff. I've already previously sanded this side because the head was kind of warped before. So now we just come over here to our handy dandy surface table over here, which is a piece of high quality sandpaper on top of our drill press table. So all you give us just a few swipes here. This is, I think, is what, uh, oh, I forget the grid on this thing. 220, oh, there it is right there. This is 120 grit, which is fairly aggressive. That's fine. So you just give it a few swipes here. Change the head angle when you do it each time. Doesn't take much to flatten it right out. You can see the nice even crosshatch pattern in there from the sanding. So you know the head's dead flat. So that just takes a high spot off the machine mark so it gives you a nice plateaued finish for the head gasket to bite into. Yeah, you got a relatively smooth surface on top to work with. We'll hit this side here just again real quick. Make sure it's no burrs on that. So you can see the marks that leaves when you do that. So all right now this head's all ready for a valve job at this point. So all the repair work from the welding is done. And with the sand marks you can't really even see the hole that's done, which is obviously right here. So it kind of masks it so you don't see it. If you look down inside the hole, you can see the welding up inside of there a little bit. It goes in about a quarter inch because it's burned out pretty good. And I have also deburred it on the inside of here with a grinder and back, you know, porting stuff. So I blended it right into the combustion chamber cut that they had in here previously. So now that's all nice and clean there. And I just broke the edge on the surface here, so we have a, kind of a sharp edge. So anyway, so that's how they look after you fix them. So now we're good for uh, a valve job and this head will be done. So there you go, one blow head gasket, no problem.